I'm Dr. John Kremser. I'm the chair of the Criminal Justice Department at Kutztown University. I'm uh, from Reading, Pennsylvania. The opioid problem in Pennsylvania has been increasing over the past few years. Uh, we rank near the top among all the states in this problem. The CDC Centers for Disease Control ranks Pennsylvania in the top five. A lot of it's transportation. Uh, we, we are a major transportation hub and a lot of the opioids, op uh, the drugs flow through Pennsylvania to other areas, but also it's not just Pennsylvania, but many other states as well. Ohio, for example, has been particularly hard hit in addition to West Virginia and states throughout the Midwest have been hit. Uh, this is not, not an issue that's unique to, to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, but rather a national problem as well. Uh, the United States consists of approximately 5% of the world's population, but consumes 80% of the opioids. Over the past 20 years, uh, there's been a shift in how Americans have managed pain. So we have less tolerance for, for pain. We need to manage it. Uh, the, there's been an increase in prescription of, of uh, opioids for pain in addition to availability and the demand for the drugs. It's not specifically a law enforcement problem that we're not, we're not able to utilize law enforcement or police resources to help address this problem. Uh, there's, there's a role for law enforcement, but we're not going to arrest our, arrest our way out of the opioid epidemic. So it's really a matter of linking the, the problem to appropriate resources and treatment and addressing the problem. We have to realize that it's, it, it could hit anybody. It's not just limited to certain people. So we have to make sure that individuals are getting the help that they need and, and also that we shouldn't be labeling individuals if they need to, to receive help for, for addiction problems.